So, the wedding I want it in a forest. In a forest? In a forest. Yes. <laughs> With the, uh, I'm, I'm going to have it gothic style. <laughs> We're going to get married by a drag queen. And, and, <laughs> top it off, I'm going to have a wolf bring the rings down to us. A wolf? Yeah. <laughs> Where are you meant to get a wolf from? We'll find a wolf. And then um, a wedding dress has to be black. Black. I wouldn't want my wife walking down the aisle in a black dress. It's just a bit sinister. Black dress, woods, drag queens, and a wolf. Wolf. Great. Oh my God, What? what is that? What is it? Werewolves. Witches. Oi. No, it's just a tree. Imagine her walking up here full of shit. Surely Sam's got to find somewhere else. It's dead nice, and it's open as well. It's like an open area in the middle of a forest for a wedding venue. They can't even consider this place until they get permission. But the boys are soon met by a strange presence. Excuse me, do you know who owns this? I do, yeah. You do? You! Brilliant. <laughs> Do you book out for wedding venues? Well, I mean, how many people are you thinking about? I don't know, roughly for the ceremony itself, about 100, 150 people. The woods, we love people using. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Drop me a line. Hey, what time will be best for you? Whatever time you want. Brilliant. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Here you go. How about that? Thank Brilliant. you. See ya. This is. Everything's just coming together itself. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't thought about anything up there yet for it, but I reckon pull something out of thin air, that'll make it look amazing. Me and Ezra there, in between them two trees, and then people standing around here, and then obviously decorate the, the trees. One question I've got is 150 people. Just. Uh, you can just around, just standing. We don't need seating. We just. The ceremony ain't gonna be a really long process, is it? So you please. The location's good, yeah? Yeah, this location's is perfect. Brilliant. This is literally what I pictured. This is what I wanted. Yeah, I'm, I'm really chuffed with it. Good. Fingers crossed for the fingers, weather? Fingers crossed, yeah. Hopefully the weather's nice. Yeah, because the one thing you can always rely on is the great British weather. Thank you very much. Pleasure. So where do you find a dress fit for a white wedding? Well, if you're Sam, you don't. I'm looking for a, a wedding dress, um, specifically black. Wow. Yeah, wow. All wedding dresses are ivory, aren't they, all white? So. It's dead hard finding a wedding dress that's black. Just have a mooch, see what you can Brilliant. see. Thank you. All right, Cheers. no worries. This is a quite an alternative place. I don't want a normal original wedding, it's just not what I want. Oh, no way. It's that noise every time she moves. Dashing through the snow. <laughs> I'm still saying Batman dress. Not a chance. I don't like this. I hate that. It's horrible. No. no. They're too short for a wedding dress, thanks. No, I'm saying for myself, mate. For you? Yeah. So, right, listen. I think okay. something might have dangled, but... What, your keys? <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. I don't like... It's just a sequence on it, I don't... Black ones, there. So, he's decided to look in another shop, which isn't a bridal shop either. Right, this one. That looks more like a wedding That's dress. That is way more like a wedding dress. I like it. That one looks like a wedding dress, that one does. Looks like Sam's found a dress for his ghostly wedding. Happy yes. with that one, then? Yeah, very you happy. You think with she'll it. like it? Or will she be shy? Best, <laughs> She does like it. Guys, got a text. Being long eaten at 9.30, you are driving yourselves. Have we got enough cars? I'm pretty annoyed, to be honest. I just wanted to go out, have a good time. Who's driving then? I'll drive. I'll drive. Why are we driving? Like, couldn't you just like, just something like a limo? <laughs> driving ourselves, no alcohol, and I need a drink now. What? Oh, All right, I'm so confused. What is this? They're still in the dark about what they're doing. Coming in, follow us. Really? Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, everybody. So you are here to do a ghost hunt? Ah, one of those classic Hindu ghost hunts. Thrilling. Pretty disappointing, to be honest. It's not really a Hindu, is it? Now, spirit can't communicate with us without energy. The mood I'm in, I don't think a spirit is going to come near me. 
all right? Spirit could be standing right in front of you, tapping you on the shoulder. If anything touched me, I feel like I'd punch it in the face. So, we're on for a good night? It's just more I fucking had no, is it, really? It is. Come on, Spirit, are ready to speak to you now? Are you ready to speak to us? Wow, that's going really fast. <laughs> I feel like there's an energy coming in. We have a message. I can hear bells, but it's not like school bells. This guy's saying Saturday, so we've got a Saturday. And... I might be getting married on a Saturday. Wedding bells. Wedding bells. <laughs> it's a bit weird how my wedding invite was delivered. If you are giving that invite, flash the lights. Oh! oh. <laughs> I knew it was fake, like, come on. Something more traditional, the boys are meeting a ring bearer down the local park. It didn't look that big from down there, did it? No. We are here to see a wolf. Every time we get closer, it's getting bigger. <laughs> Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? -la 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 -la. I'm Sam. Nice to meet nice you, to Sam. Meet you. Will. Hi, Will. Hello. I'm Natalie from Watermill Wolves, and this is Mr Bond. We've been expecting you. So what exactly is it that you'd be wanting, then? So if me and Ezra stood at the end of the aisle and then he comes running up to us with the rings, then we That's get the rings off, so like, it's like a ring bearer, isn't it? A ring yeah, wolf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can teach you how to call him, so he'll come specifically to you. So you'll have the treat and the whistle in one hand. Yeah. Don't confuse which one you stick in your mouth. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right. When he comes to you, you're going to hold up the treat and tell him to wait, pull the ribbon, you give him the treat, and then he'll run off back to us. That's ASAP. If you don't get the weight in, he might jump on you. That'll just look more dramatic. It sounds so simple. Just give it a wolf whistle. Wait. Wait. That's a Hold whistle. The ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know from your rings. <laughs> Tell him to wait. Wait. What's this? Let What's him this? nibble the treat while you pull the ribbon. <laughs> this is turning into an absolute howler. Mum and bridesmaids are pretty nervous, and grannies as well. Cos I'm old-fashioned. I like a traditional dress. Well, if she doesn't get the dress she wants, I don't know what she'll do. I think if it's a pretty dress, he's done good. <laughs> Hello. You all right? Thanks so much. It's all right. <laughs> It's not very big. What I know. The black. It's not as bad as I thought, to be fair. It's just not your dream. No, it's, it's dress. literally the complete opposite, isn't yeah. it? Mine was big and white, and this is yeah. black and straight. Grand isn't happy. No. That, that was the one thing. I said I didn't want a black or a red. It's More for an evening dress. But I think if you had a veil, you'd probably look like some sort of a horror film. <laughs>